in this session we will say about t log row component the purpose of t log row component is to display the output on a console t log row component comes under log and error components let us see step by step how we can utilize it right click on the folder create a standard job i'm providing the name as t log row job we can write the purpose. What is the purpose? It will take a couple of minutes or a couple of seconds to open the job. Let's wait. Yes. Here right side, you are seeing a palette. This palette shows all the list of the components available in talent. And uh, here you can find a login error. And you can see the list of the components available. And here you can see T log row. So how does this will help us? We can see now. For as an example, I have a table as EMP, which has all 14 rows. All 14 rows of the data, if I want to display on the console, this is called console. If I want to display here, then in that particular situation, we will be using T log row during our development to do some testing if we want to know how output looks then in that particular situation like other, otherwise for debugging etc we will be using this component let me do that expand the metadata and here we can find your oracle connection inside that i have a table called emp then i am pulling it which is i'm taking tdb input if I want to fetch the data from EMP and load into log, then I need to use TDB input, which will act as a source for now, which will act as a source for this job. And uh, here you can see automatically query is also generated. All the columns of EMP table is available here. And it shows from which connection it is fetching automatically. It shows all the details. Then right now, I'm pulling T log row component. And there is one more way. Instead of pulling, you can write here T. Automatically, it will show all the components available with T. You can just select. There are two options. Either you can write T and just from the drop down you can select, or you can, from the palette option, you can pull the required component. I'm doing right click, row, main, and I'm selecting T log row. Select the T log row component and here you can see different options available. First one is basic and here you can see field separator. Every field will be separated. If I am writing comma, then every field will be separated by comma. If I write pipe symbol, then every uh, uh, field will be separated with this. So I'm using right now comma and save this. And I did not use any header. If I use this, then what happens for every column, column name will be displayed. Let us see now how it works. I'm not enabling this checkbox. So let us see. Click on run. It is building the job. It takes a couple of seconds. The job will run now. Starting connected. Right now you can see all the output of EMP table is displayed as a comma separated. You can see the first row is 7369 Smith Clark and the employee number e name are the column names. So right now you can see the column names are not displayed here. Directly the data of each column is displayed using comma separated and all 14 rows are displayed. You can see. Now here, instead of, here I'm enabling print header. So what does this option does? Now it will display the column heading also. Okay, run. I enabled the checkbox as column heading. So now the column heading will be displayed for every column. 
there. First column name is displayed, then column values are displayed. Print component unique name in front of each output row. What does this do? Let's see. What is the component name? T log row component you can see here when you select the component then automatically the component name also it shows and we have selected print the component name for each and every value. So here this is a component name. Now you see the component name is displayed. Just select this, select the component then you will see the component name. T log row, T log row underscore one. What is the component name? For example, for this, the component name is TDB input one. At the same time, T log row is also having a name which is called T log row underscore one. Now, for every value, you can see the component name is available. For every row, it is displaying. Is that clear? So, print component name. Instead of component name, if I want to display the schema column name in front of each value, then we will use this option. Run this. Click on that. Okay. So the column name value, column name value, column name value, column name value. So for every value, instead of displaying the value directly, it is displaying the column name, colon value name. Is that clear? The basic has these many options. And uh, if you want the fixed length, instead of displaying the values directly, if I want to display the values based on fixed length, then we will use this. And uh, there is one more option, which is called table. Instead of basic, if I want to display all the values in tabular format, then we will use this. Let's see now this option. See, all the values earlier, we displayed it as comma separated. Right now it is displaying in a tabular format. And uh, instead of uh, each and every row, I want to display it as a key value pair. In that cases, we will use this option. Instead of displaying it as a tabular format, every row I want to display it as a key value. How it looks, we will see. There are 14 rows. Every row it will display it as a key and value combination. EMP table has 14 rows. Every row it displays as a key and value option. Column name is available as a key and value is available in the value section. And for every row it displays a separate box. A unique name is provided in number one, two, three, four, etc. And the component name is also displayed. This is clear. And here you can see edit schema. For as an example, right now EMP table is having how many columns? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight columns are there. In these eight columns, I want to display on the log row only first two columns. I want to display only employee number e name then what we have to do you can click on this edit schema which is nothing but instead of displaying all eight columns i wanted only two columns then we can delete the rest of the columns from the left side you can delete okay and from right side need not to delete any columns from right side you need not to do any columns just sync the columns now edit and see there are only two columns at the right side, which means based on the columns available at the left side, the columns in the right side will be in a sync. Now, in EMP, there are how many columns are there? Eight columns, but in the T log row, we are displaying only two columns right now. This is clear, 
right now it is displaying only two columns for every row instead of displaying all the eight columns so here i guess you understood now what is the purpose of t log row t log row purpose is only to display the output on a console it is not storing anywhere just it is displaying output on the console generally we do we use this option whenever we want to do some sample test etc during our development or whenever you are debugging a particular job and you want to see how the output is will be stored so just if you want to see like example in sql developer what we do to see the output of this emp table we just do select start from emp the same way in this particular job how the data is stored in the target table just i want to see how it is uh, getting stored so we can use t log row component and temporarily we can display the output and see how many rows are displaying how many columns are displaying just for debugging or uh, during the development we use this option i hope this is helpful thank you